Julio Cesar Chavez is one of Mexico's greatest sporting icons, earning a reputation for his unrelenting all-action style. Chavez has etched his place in boxing history as one of Mexico's greatest ever fighters to step between the ropes. Down goes Hagen, second zone. A straight right that hammered Hagen to the deck. Known for his explosive punching power, devastating body attacks, and relentless pressure fighting tactics, Chavez was widely recognized as one of boxing's pound for pound kings by sports fans across the globe. Chavez said he wanted to give him a beating, he didn't just want to knock him out. And that's what he's getting now a beating. Still currently holding the record for the longest unbeaten streak in boxing, Chavez had amassed a sensational record of 107 wins with only six losses by the end of his 25-year-long career, as well as becoming a six-time world champion across three different weight divisions. After almost 20 years since his last professional bout, we look back at the legendary speed and power of boxing legend Julio Cesar Chavez. After spending the majority of his career headlining events in Mexico, Chavez was introduced to American fight fans when he faced former champion Roger Mayweather in his U.S. network TV debut on a Don King promotion. I would like the corners to remind them, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. Okay. The Mexican slugger was eager to impress and immediately got to work catching Mayweather with two crunching right hands in the second round. But referee Richard Steele incorrectly scored the knockdown as a slip. Back to his feet without his mandatory eight count to recover, Mayweather was sent crashing back down to the canvas just seconds later, following another perfectly timed right hand. Showing no mercy, Chavez relentlessly went looking for the finish, unleashing a constant barrage of attacks until referee Richard Steele intervened and saved Roger from any further punishment. It was an impressive display of speed and power from Chavez, who had taken full advantage of his opportunity to fight on U.S. TV and improved his record to 47 wins with zero losses. Making the fifth defense of his WBC super featherweight title on another Don King promotion, Chavez faced off with fellow Mexican Refugio Rojas in front of a packed house in Madison Square Garden. Backing up and picking off his opponent in the early rounds, Chavez was able to land his devastating blows with ease, resulting in resilient Rojas being sent through the ropes in the fifth. Tony Perez right on the button to separate the two. A nice uppercut, almost cuts Rojas. It was a delayed knockdown. Fighting on borrowed time, Rugged Rojas went down again in the following frame after taking a crushing left hook to the chin. Showing incredible heart and toughness to remain in the contest, Rojas found himself down again in the seventh, following a stunning two-punch combination to the head. The referee finally called a halt to the contest at the end of the seventh round, following a barrage of unanswered blows from the promising Mexican star. Chavez knows he has a lot of trouble here. That's it, it's all over. It'll be scored in the seventh round. TKO win for Julio Cesar Chavez. In a truly memorable and dramatic fight that resulted in one of boxing's most controversial endings, as well as earning Ring Magazine's Fight of the Year Award for 1990, Chavez returned to Las Vegas to face unbeaten IBF champion Meldrick Watch Taylor. The low blow, the rubber punches, okay? Shake hands, good luck. Putting on an incredible display of boxing skill and hand speed, Taylor was able to land at will against the always aggressive but defensively flawed Chavez throughout the first four rounds. Taylor lands a vicious right hand. Chavez seems unmoved by it. 
Outlanding and outpointing the Mexican with ease, Taylor elected to reduce his movement and attempted to outman the tough Chavez in an up-close affair. George Benton's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful Brady touches inside, and Chavez again seems to wobble slightly as Taylor lands at will. Brilliant stuff from Melvin Taylor. Chavez on the verge of going down. Capitalizing on the opportunity to trade up close, Chavez was able to land his relentless clubbing blows, resulting in severe swelling around the eyes of the IBF champion. Both of Taylor's eyes are closing. The blood continues to flow from his nose and his mouth. But if he stands up, he wins. Badly battered and bleeding profusely, exhausted Taylor was sent crashing to the canvas from a perfectly timed right hand with just 15 seconds left of the final frame. With just two seconds left on the clock, referee Richard Steele deemed Taylor unable to continue and waved off the contest. If he gets up, he probably wins the fight. I can't believe it! Unbelievable! It was one of the greatest ever come from behind victories for Chavez, who put on an incredible display of toughness and determination to battle through adversity and finish his opponent inside the distance. In a highly anticipated battle between Mexico and Puerto Rico, Chavez returned to Vegas to face Hector Macho Camacho. Is there any question? Shake hands and good luck. Eager to inflict pain on his opponent, Chavez immediately got to work pressuring Camacho, unleashing devastating blows to head and body from the opening bell. He just can't run. But Chavez has him against the ropes, but Camacho able to get out of trouble. Opting to box and move throughout the early rounds, Macho Camacho struggled to deal with the relentless pressure being applied by Chavez, who was depleting the Puerto Rican's gas tank with his signature body attacks. Body shots by Chavez have to be taking their toll. Under consistent pressure, with no sign of victory in sight, Camacho was forced into survival mode from the middle round onwards, allowing Chavez to tee off with his powerful pinpoint accurate blows, inflicting damage to Macho's left eye. Chavez had completely outclassed and outgunned his Puerto Rican rival, with one judge scoring every single round to the Mexican, who was competing in his 23rd consecutive championship level All fight. All three in favor of the winner and still champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. Fighting in front of a record-breaking 130,000 strong crowd at Azteca Stadium, Chavez stepped in against former two-time world champion Greg Haugen. Give me a good, clean fight. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Enraged by Haugen's pre-fight comments, Chavez had his cocky foe down just seconds into the first round from a pair of sharp right hands. He just got, he just got hit. Haugen did by a good, straight right hand. There's another one, and it set him back. Down goes Haugen, seconds in. Putting on an incredible display of speed and power, Chavez patiently picked his punches for the first five rounds before stunning Haugen and ruthlessly looking for the finish. Oh, brother, a combination. And down goes Haugen. Back to his feet, but badly hurt, defenseless Haugen was wiped out just seconds later as Chavez unleashed a barrage of unanswered punches, forcing referee Joe Cortez to intervene and call a halt to the contest. And the problem is there's a minute and 10 seconds and Chavez wants to go home. Haugen has never lost by knockout. This could be the first. Chavez unloading. And it speaks stuff by Joe Cortez. It's all over. Chavez had his hand raised for the 85th time as a professional and retained his status as the biggest star in boxing. After avenging his first career defeat to Frankie Randall, Chavez returned to Las Vegas to face former foe Meldrick Taylor. Any question from the challenger? Any question from the champion? Let's get it on! 
In a similar fashion to their first bout four years prior, Taylor was able to use his fast hands and superior footwork to outpoint the Mexican in the early rounds. I think you can see a little extra tension in Julio's face this round. He's coming out, coming out here to do a little more work, but Taylor's doing the job. He's answering the call. Showing his iron shin and steely determination, Undeterred, Chavez continued to walk his man down, unleashing bombs to head and body, sending a tiring Taylor down in the eighth from a perfectly timed left hook. How many of these is he going to take? Now Chavez going to the head. Down goes Taylor. Oh, Taylor beat the count, but his challenge was terminated merely seconds later, following a barrage of unanswered blows, forcing referee Mills Lane to intervene and call a halt to the contest. Chavez looking to finish Taylor off. Mills Lane steps in. It's over. It's over. Julio Cesar Chavez. It was another impressive display of speed and power from Chavez, who improved his record to 91 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 78 coming by way of knockout.